Stuart, Dr. Longley, to address the congregation on behalf of those who have been presented. Congratulations to everyone who received their certificates. A day you'll remember for the rest of your lives. <clears throat> I started to try to write poetry when I was 16 years old. I remember my first near miss, my first failure, it was called Song of a Night Watchman. I went from my Belfast school to Trinity College, Dublin, where it took me ages to produce a poem good enough to appear in the Trinity Literary Magazine. And several years after that, to write my first true poem. In one of his dialogues, Plato says, Kalapa ta kala. The beautiful things are difficult. So, I've been trying to write poetry for nearly 70 years. I meet folk from my past who question me. Are you still writing poetry? They make it sound like stop collecting. Occasionally I'm asked, what use is poetry? To which I reply, no use at all. But of course, it is value, profound value. Poetry is my religion. It's my way of making sense of the world. Poetry, like all the arts, is like a small gland in the body, the pituitary gland, say, the size of a walnut. Small and unnoticed it may be, but if it is removed, the body dies. I believe that poetry is a normal human activity. It is about all the things that happen to human beings and to the world. Poetry is the fruit of our deepest natures. I would add that true poetry haunts us. We remember it without trying to we read a true poem again and again. We carry it in our heads. A true poem is inexhaustible. I'm honored and moved by this occasion which recognizes my poetry. It proves to me that in our culture, poetry endures. I'll close with a short poem, a very short poem, a poem that's about poetry, and it's called Poem. Every syllable, shh, has to go on reverberating as though your mouth were a Tibetan singing bone. Thank you, Chancellor.
me thank you for those words. And if I may, from a personal point of view, thank you for your unique way of shining a light to the world on us from this place. How you have in some ways inspired us and directed us on how we might live. And um, thank, for the, thank you for those enduring words which you have written for the last 50 plus years, which will continue after we've long gone. Also, very personally, thank you for your friendship. 